Hello, in this video we'll be looking at question 11 of WASI 2021, the private exams. WASI 2021 now take November, December exams. In the diagram, PQR is a circle. Angle QRP is 41 degrees, angle PTQ is 35 degrees. Line segment PT, this line here, is a tangent, and QR is parallel to PS. We have to find the angle PEQ and angle PQT. So let's begin. Using the parallel lines, we know that angle, this angle over here, which is angle RPS, will also be equal to 41 degrees. Because this is an alternate angle to this. So they are equal. Then angles in the same segment are also equal. So this angle is also equal to 41 because this and these are angles in the same segment. So that one is also 41 degrees. Now we have to calculate this angle here. We can calculate that angle easily using the exterior angle theorem of a triangle which says that the two remote interior angles will add up to give us an exterior angle over here so angle PEQ which is this angle which is an exterior angle to these interior angles is what we are looking for so we just have to add 41 degrees and 41 degrees to get angle PAQ which is 82 degrees now we want to find angle PQT angle PQT so we need to introduce a line here and when we do that then this angle here is meeting the tangent with this chord so the angle that is created in the alternate segment must be equal to this angle. Therefore, this angle and this angle are angles in alternate segment which are equal. So angle QPT, so this angle here is 41 degrees. So note that by the same theorem, this angle should be equal to this angle which is also true so this is also 41 and we know that this and this are also in the same segment which must be equal so it means we are on track now that we found this we can now find angle PQT this angle here so angle PQT because this angle should give us 180 degrees that is angles in a triangle must add up to 180 degrees we now have to solve for under PQT this and this will give us 76 degrees so 180 minus 76 will be equal to angle PQT so under PQT is 104 degrees now let's look at the B part of the question. The table shows the height of players of a basketball team. We are to calculate correct one decimal place in centimeters, the mean height of the players. So we know the mean height is given by summation of the frequency times 
the values that is the height then we add all so we multiply this by this this by that this by this this by this this by this this by this that will give us the summation of fx so that is what we have done here we add all then we add all the frequencies to 4 plus 6 plus 3 plus 7 plus 8 plus 9 and that will give us 6030 over 37 so in decimals to 3 decimal place but we are asked to correct the result to 1 decimal place and that will give us 163.0 centimeters